What is up you guys, my name is Selena, and today's gonna be a new tutorial on how Taylor Cup Films did his effects that wipes out the sky in his Transcend video. So let's get started in After Effects. Okay, so right now I have a clip of me just standing there, and what I want to do is replace the background for this clip. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the quality at full so that we can rotor brush accurately. And then we're gonna go up to the rotor brush tool and then just rotor brush whoever your person is um, in the clip. Basically whatever you want to keep in the clip. And you can change the brush size by holding command and shifting your mouse. And then you can hold alt and the brush will turn red so that you could delete some parts that you accidentally took. So just brush everything that you want to keep. Now this clip is kind of hard because my hair it's super windy and my hair is like blowing everywhere. So you probably don't want to film this clip when it's windy. Okay, so then you're going to press command and the right arrow key and just keep going frame by frame until however long you want the clip to last. And then you're just going to make sure that the rotor brush just covers everything that you want to keep. Okay, so once you've scrubbed through and have selected all your rotor brush frames, then we can just go back to the regular composition and you can see that the whole background is blacked out because we got rid of all of it. Now what we want to do is just feather it a little so that the edges aren't so harsh and you can also shift the edge because you might have that blue sky outline and you can also reduce chatter just so that the clip just looks a lot more cleaner and smooth now because after effects is going kind of slow for me because i'm recording my screen at the same time i'm just going to keep the quality at half but you're going to want to keep that quality at full the whole time now what you want to do is hold on that clip and press command d to duplicate it then go to your bottom layer and delete the rotor brush off of it so now it just looks like the normal clip again now you can bring in your background, so this is whatever you want it to replace uh, as a sky. So I'm just going to have this time lapse. Honestly, these two clips don't really work well together. I'm just doing it for the sake of the tutorial. I don't really have good uh, sky replacement clips, if you know what I mean. Um, so you're just going to bring that background all the way to the bottom of your composition. Now what we're going to do is go up to the shapes and you're going to select the ellipse and then create a circle on the second clip. So this is your normal clip. And I'm just going to make it at the center because that's how Taylor Cut Films did his. And then we're going to go down to the mask properties and we're going to feather it a lot. So I'm going to about 400. And then you want to subtract so I'm going to change the settings to subtract or you can press inverted and then at the beginning we're going to keep the mask expansion all the way down so that we see the normal clip and press the keyframe button and then go to where you want the sky replacement to end and we're going to bring that expansion all the way out so we see the whole bottom clip now so now you can see that it nicely blends out now this looks pretty good already but Taylor Cup Films adds like some sort of like white effect I saw it kind of looked like clouds um so I'm gonna try to replicate it so we're gonna go up to layer and we're gonna press new solid and we're gonna make sure that it is white and then we'll just press ok so now we have a solid and we're gonna bring it down to the third line and then we're gonna go to that mask that we made on our second clip and we're gonna command C to copy the mask and we're gonna paste it right onto the solid so it has the exact same settings in the beginning so now you can see it has a sort of white outline if you sort of offset the white solid keyframes from the other mask keyframes then you'll see more of the white effect and you can actually change the opacity if you want down so it's not so white. So it kind of looks like clouds. I also want to make it look sort of like clouds. So in effects and presets, I'm going to search up fractal noise. And I'm going to put that on the solid. So now it kind of looks like clouds, but I want to adjust some of the settings. So we're going to bring the contrast down to like 40. And then bring the brightness up so it really looks like a white flash. And then you can adjust the opacity. So now it looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm happy with that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.